Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about using Gulp in Visual Studio 2015 to automate tasks. This is Rajesh Munasundram, founder and editor of ProgrammerGuide.net. What is Gulp? Gulp is a JavaScript task runner that lets you automate tasks. What task it can automate? It can automate tasks such as bundling and minifying libraries and style sheets, refreshing browsers when you save a file, quickly running unit tests, running code analysis, compiling less or SAS files into a CSS, also copying modified files to an output directory. Gulp workflow. We start by defining a task that we would like to accomplish. Within that task, a desired set of files are loaded into the Gulp stream to be processed. Once files are in the stream, one or more modifications can be made to the files. Because the streams are processed in the memory, no file system writes to temporary directories between modifications are required. Send the new files, that is the modified files, to a specified destination. This is the simple Gulp workflow. These are the simple Gulp APIs available. Gulp.task API that defines a task. Gulp.src API that reads input files. Gulp.dist API that writes files into an output directory. Gulp.watch API will watch files for changes. Gulp in Visual Studio 2015. Visual Studio 2015 ships with its own version of several external tools such as Grunt, Gulp, Bower, Node and NPM. Using Gulp, we can automate tasks in Visual Studio 2015. In the demo, we are going to use the empty ASP.NET web application that we have created in our previous video using Visual Studio 2015. Then we will write gulp task to automate copying angular2.dev.js file to the destination folder. Let's jump on to the demo. This is the npm demo project that we have created earlier. To this project, I am going to add a gulp configuration file. I am selecting client side. And I'm selecting gulp configuration file in the middle pane. I'm going to leave the gulp file.js as a default file name. So a template for gulp file.js has been added to our project. Notice that there is a transparent gulp logo under the corner of the editor. It indicates that this file is a gulp configuration file. We have the gulp configuration file into the system, but we haven't added uh, the dependency for the gulp to this project. Let me add the dependencies. I'm going to open the package.json, that is the npm package manager uh, configuration file. What is the logo, npm logo here. Here I'm going to add dependency for gulp. Yeah, it has got loaded. I'm going to use the stable version 3.9.1. The moment I save this, Visual Studio will load Gulp dependencies. So the dependencies, the dependencies folder is getting restored. I'm expanding the npm folder. Notice the Gulp dependency has been added. Now let's open the task runner explorer and refresh this. Notice that the task has been refreshed with the default task. This is the task that is listed in the gulf file.js. Now I'm going to add another task to it. Gulf.task. I'm going to name the task as copy files.
we have a new task named copy files inside that copy files task we need to write code to copy the required js files to the destination under www root folder so let me write the statement for that gulp.src it says so, uh, we need to provide the source file then i am adding a pipe to it that takes the destination inside that i need to provide the destination folder path okay this is the simple single line statement that copies the source to the destination i am planning to copy angular 2 js file that is under node underscore modules under bundles this angular 2 dev.js i'm going to copy so <clears throat> as you know this gulp configuration file exists in the root folder exists in the root folder so from this root folder let me stick this solution control solution explorer here from this root folder dot slash it means the current folder I want to navigate to node underscore modules under node underscore modules I would like to navigate to angular 2 then bundles angular 2 then bundles then inside bundles I would this is the file that I would like to copy angular2.dev.js that is under bundles in the file name. <coughs> I'm adding the file name I'm adding the file name yes and we have the source file path now now I need to provide the destination folder. We have configured the source path. Now we need to set the destination path. So as I said earlier, I want to copy the angular2.dev.js to the lib folder under www root folder. Okay. So, so from the current folder, I want to navigate to www root folder. Then inside that I want to create a LIBS folder, a library folder, whatever you call it. That's it. Now we have source and destination. I'm saving the file now. Now I'm navigating to the task runner explorer. Notice that copy files has been listed under task runner explorer. This is a new task that we have just created. I'm right clicking the task, then selecting run. Notice that LIBS folder has been created under www root folder. Let me expand this. Notice that angular2.dev.js has been copied into this folder. That's it. We have automated this this particular task, copying the angular2.dev.js into a www root slash LIBS folder. Under the task runner explorer, we can we can also make by right clicking the task and bind this particular task to run either before building the project or after building the project or while cleaning the project or when we open the project like that we can bind this particular task to any of the event so that this will be automatically running based on the on those particular events that's all folks this is the demo If you like this video, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel Programmer Guide Net. You can like us on Facebook, you can also follow us on Twitter. When you get some time, kindly visit our website programmerguide.net. There are a lot of stuffs in there. Thanks for watching. Happy coding. This is Rajesh Gunasandran signing off from programmerguide.net YouTube official video channel.